What's your biggest pet peeve when boarding an airplane? If you're like many people, worrying whether there will be space for your luggage in the overhead bin ranks right up there. But there may be a solution, and here to tell us about it is WSJ's Middle Seat columnist, Scott McCartney. Hi, Scott. So tell Hi. us about Boeing's new space bin. Yeah, it's it's rather ingenious. It was uh, really dreamt up by a Boeing engineer who, who got tired himself of his bag being taken away from him because all the bins were full. And, and the thought that we all have of, why isn't there enough bin space? So <laughs> Boeing created a bigger bin that allows you to turn the bag sideways. And when you do that, you can get almost 50% more bags on the airplane. Fantastic. It's almost like stacking books on a bookshelf. So is the lack of overhead space one of the biggest customer gripes, Scott? Oh, absolutely. Um, Alaska Airlines, which is taking delivery of the first Boeing with, with space spin, says uh, for business travelers, uh, right now the biggest complaint is Wi-Fi, but for families it's overhead bin space. And there's a whole, you know, it's disrupted everything. It's disrupted the boarding process. There's anxiety about being in a late boarding group. Um, flight attendants and gate agents are trying to wrestle the bags away from you, and they've got ticketing machines down at, at the gate. And people feel compelled to pay fees for early boarding just to get their overhead and get their bag in the overhead bin. I get it. It certainly makes me nervous. So, Scott, the, this bin looks great. Are we likely to see these in more planes soon? Yeah, it's interesting. So Alaska uh, is taking them on new deliveries now, and they're retrofitting them into um, some of their existing planes by 2017. They'll have half their fleet equipped with these um, big, uh, big space bins. Um, United, uh, Delta, and, and a couple other foreign carriers have already ordered them. American is about to order them. Um, you can retrofit them. So um, I think uh, as, as these get more popular with passengers, there'll be more and more pressure on airlines to spend the money to retrofit. All right. Well, fingers crossed. But is there any downside? Are planes losing space somewhere else to accommodate these bins? Yeah, it's, you know, the airplane, when you take space from, you add space to something, you got to take it away from something else. So the, the space bin actually lowers headroom um, for the passenger service unit above your head uh, by two inches compared to Boeing's current interior, which they call the sky interior. It, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a noticeable change for, for people who have trouble reaching up high to the, uh, to the light switch or the flight attendant call button or the air vent. Um, two inches is, is kind of a welcome thing for taller people, probably not so much. Um, but the way the bin is still sloped, at least for aisle passengers, is not a whole lot of difference. Uh, but some, some people are going to feel a difference. I'd gladly give up those two inches of headspace, but then again, I'm not that tall. So <laughs> thank you so much, Scott, for that. Sure. Take care.